Hey, this is Gutfox, and today we are going to play a couple games with my budget squad. The sponsor today is League of Independent Dependent Descendants of Attendant Superintendent Defendants. So let's start off the game with a little bit of running, and the opponents usually know this. So he was playing close to the line. I should audible, but I don't really have a fast guy to run deep flies. And I saw he played cover three the last few times. So I ran a play to beat cover three, and he called man. That was a good play on his part, calling man. It screws me up through this game. I think I'm playing with Brady, but I have Rodgers, who isn't quite as accurate, and I uh, make some bad reads. Well, maybe not this game, maybe the next one. But anyways, here we go. I punted, off, I punted it away, and now he's running the ball against me. That is one of the weaknesses of my defense is the defensive tackles, but Peppers comes through with the pick. Up the sidelines. And there it is for the touchdown. So that he thought he could fit it in, but the user stepped up. Um, this is the conference championship game. I'm one away from the Super Bowl here. I'm undefeated so far with the budget squad. So we'll hopefully we can keep that rolling. But he looks to, he likes to roll out, but luckily RG3 is not an accurate passer. That is lucky for me. I can't keep up with Peppers. I think maybe I should have a, a speedier middle linebacker in situations like this. One, have Peppers in one case to like, you know, hold up near the line of scrimmage and pick off passes like that. I went down for a dive. And then maybe a speedier guy to, if I go deeper in coverage like this, like when he rolls out so I can better protect that. Nice play by Cromarty. That's why I have him. Tall and can defend a deep ball. Him and Brown are on the opposite side, defending us at Hail Mary or that uh, long pass. But, yeah, I like to screen with this team. Charles outruns his offensive lineman, which isn't too difficult for him. And then the Witten for the inches to pick it up. But yeah, so I got I got actually oh that was a bad read should have been picked. I got uh, I think six thousand coins for this team. I didn't make any upgrades since the last video because I wanted to wait for the season to finish to make a a lot of upgrades. So he quit, got me to my Super Bowl. All right, let's go gut. Take on the New England Patriots. Bill Belichick's a good defensive mastermind. So we'll see if we can figure out how to play him. He's got Michael Vick. So you know we're in for another rollout day. Him and RG3. So I got the contains on. But as you know with Michael Vick, contains often don't matter. And Devin McCourty coming through with the pick. He is, is the biggest playmaker on my team. He's gotten the most turnovers for me. Most picks. I think that's at least Three. Oh, I hung on to the ball for two seconds. I had a guy open for that first down. But it is what it is. Yeah, that might be three picks in the last four games for McCourty for me. And once again, Vernon Davis shreds my defense. His speed is just too much for a budget squad like this. He is very good on those crossing patterns. I can't keep up with him. The zone defenders can't catch him. 97 speed for a tight end is very good, especially against a slow team. Charles does a lot of good work for my squad. Aaron Rodgers overthrows Ditka. Or, sorry, Ditka. Ditka's my main squad. Witten on this squad. Did the old uh, back to the basket, drive backwards. Fall down for a couple yards. First down. Jamal Charles do more work. This is where I should have left triggered instead of pulled back on the right thumbstick. I just needed a slight hesitation there. That might have been seven if I would have played that differently. I thought it was going to be cool and get the slight pullback. See, here's where I make a mistake. I don't respect CPU defenders as much as I should. I throw away from the user. But, and here's Browner. That's why we pay you like we do, Browner, to stop those things. But yeah, those play action crossers kill me this game. 
he make good he makes good reads on him. Here's McCordy cutting off the receiver. Again, making a play for me deep. This stud for me. Ooh. Pepper's dropping it in the middle of the zone. Yeah, that Pepper's been CPU controlled. It's not exactly amazing. Sproles! That when you when you muff a punt. That's the first muff I've ever seen on a punt. And he's able to shimmy his way down to the 12 yard line. Yeah, I, I, it went right off his helmet. I, was it too far for him? Oh my God, Devin McCourty. He, he will not be replaced on this budget squad. Is if I want a free safety, Kelvin Johnson to use her. I think I'm gonna replace him at strong safety. But then I get rid of Troy Palomalu, who I know makes plays in the running game for me. But anyways, we try to run some crossing patterns. Get Witten there for the first down. Driving down the field. 50 seconds left in the second half, in the second quarter. We're not able to get a lot of separation there. And he cuts in front of my 80 Jerry Rice from a couple weeks ago. Oh, Jeffrey. So right here I just kind of ran the clock down to play on fourth down because I didn't expect to get it. But I did, so I wanted to throw one more. Hail Mary, and he hit me. Hmm. I should have max protected that. So Sproles, he of the helmet fumble. His defensive end gets out to my wide receiver very quickly. I got to freshen up on how to throw those wide receiver screens better. That is my fault. Nice little cover three beater there. Hit him in the seam. His corners were in the sink. I No, after that play, they were in the flats. I don't know why he dropped so deep when he was in the flats. I was very disappointed by that. And I threw a pick, not respecting it. So, Michael Vick roll out. Our ends are good, but, you know, he's got a blocking tight end, and he sticks my ends down. Jelani Jenkins with the tackle. Solid left outside linebacker. Not amazing this late in mud, of course. But he just can run out the middle. I, I don't I do not have amazing D tackles. He can get three yards, four yards a run. And somehow I glitched through his center guard gap there. That was just a pinch a pinch of the D line and a crash of the D line. Somehow it, it messed up the AI. I, I hope Madden fixes that next year. Just a a little bit of the AI glitch. There's been a lot, you know, this late in Mutt, most of the, uh, not most, but a lot of glitches are already figured out and are being exploited. And so people hate the game or complain about the game much more this late in the year than they do early in the year. Because early in the year, you don't know as many. You figure out a couple, then they get patched, but then they Madden doesn't patch the game the rest of the year. So these, uh, the bugs that are found out after that patch just kind of stay in, in the game. Which is unfortunate for a huge title like Madden. And Sproles saving the day for me. I thought that was going to be a pick. So Sproles kind of made up for his helmet fumble by cutting in front of the defender and picking that pass off. 10-7, we're in this. Mike Vick takes a sack. As long as we can keep in the pocket, which we don't there. I, I don't know why. That was an amazing throw on his part. A dime from that Vick. Deep ball. And that's why we cut him off. Nice work, Palomalu. Good shutdown on the run. Third and nine. Crossing to the sideline. Damn it. See, that's why you need speed there instead of tall people. I think maybe that's my next investment is going to be a speed middle linebacker that I can sub in for like Peppers. Oh, man. That was a nice user. He avoided my block. That was Roger screwing up there. But that user on that screen, he avoided my blocker and got to it. He's doing a four-man rush. 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. That one was a blitz on fourth down. He got me and 
ran the clock out. Thanks for watching.